It's Friday. This is a Friday. Actually, Friday. This is a 90s song. Was one of the most popular songs uh, by Santana. He's a fantastic guitarist, by the way. Might be one of the finest guitarists of all time. Well, I don't know. It might be. He is one of the finest guitarists of all time. But that song, if you were alive in the 90s, that song was played on a continuous loop from Everywhere. Uh, when it came out in like 96. Something like that. And it was on a continuous loop for exactly 15 years on every radio station you can still if you go to 90s on nine on xm it's like constant it's a great song though go to b105.7 you'll hear it at least <laughs> every day <laughs> uh she like there we're sponsored by b105.7 <laughs> totally today. 90s on nine. <laughs> 5. 7. Is, and by the way so announcements today this is as close to live as we've ever gotten and i actually thought about like doing live announcements we i'm sure we'd have students barging into our office telling us to be quiet <laughs> you stop we're done uh, and i did not realize yesterday we went 30 minutes and i apologize but we had to talk about pictures and we've all that stuff coming up and there's so much coming up so we're trying to um we're trying to limit food talk however isn't tomorrow oreo day tomorrow's oreo day so i have in my office teachers only <laughs> uh, we're gonna be delivering this afternoon on our treat train uh some oreos and i'm gonna see if uh Miss Ava in the cafeteria will give us some milk and so we can actually give a choice of you know, chocolate milk, milk to go with those because you can't have Oreos without milk. No. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a state, I think it's like a federal or state law. If it's not, it's a school law. It's like this. I have declared on Uno, you may not stack draw twos if you're a two person you're in a two person game. You may not stack uh, you may not stack draw twos. Uno says this, although I mean I'm you know I'm fine with whatever you do at home. You can do that, but we are not stacking draw twos or draw fours at Uno. I agree with that rule. So now, I mean, you can certainly stack them if you are in more than, if you're in more than a two person, yes. So if you drop one, person right by you has to draw, has to draw two, and then the person across there can draw draw two to you or whoever the person is playing. Mm -hmm. But in a two person Uno, you may not stack draw twos. And you may not, if you are the person right afterwards, you have to draw two and move on. Uh, that's the nature of the game. And so there's also this meme floating around where uh, so this older kid is playing his younger brother. And his younger brother has clearly had one card left in Uno, but his whole hand is uh, draw four, draw four, draw four, <laughs> skip, draw two. Look, great. That's like, that's the most, I think that might be the most evil thing you can that do. That is the best way to win Uno. Or in, or in sorry at the board game when we would, like someone would be real close to, and you would purposely work around people to. Yep. To knock them back. Uh -huh. um, not so much Monopoly sitting in the jail, only because Monopoly takes forever to play if you play it for real. Yeah, I can handle it. And you can't, like, listen, I don't play Monopoly. I haven't played Monopoly for years. But you can't trust me as a banker. Because at one point, <laughs> I had all the properties and I had like a million bucks. So, <laughs> oh, cheating at Monopoly? Absolutely. You have to. That's <laughs> just why you just don't play it. it. Just takes. I honestly, you know, we honestly need to teach our kids how to play euchre. Uh, I know some people play Tonk and, and I, I, what is the other, there's a couple games that kids have taught me how to play, but I ultimately can't follow along. But uh, if you're from Indiana and Euchre and like, wait, the Jacks are worth more than the Ace? Yeah, it is. So, I do not know how to play Euchre. No, Euchre's a fun you, game. Did you grow up? You grew up, you didn't grow up in Indiana, but you've been I didn't, I'm up. not. I am not a native Hoosier, so I do not know how to play. Yeah. Oh. It's a rite of passage for. Yeah, you have to play. And then, then you had to learn how to, so I, I don't know. I don't ever have to cheat euchre because I, I think my skill level is pretty good. But when you play with somebody learning and they drink and you had to follow suit, but yet you, they hold on to Trump even though they didn't have to. And then you got to. <laughs> right. It's so, so much fun. It's a good. Yeah, do. Honestly, uh, so today, live, you tell us live because they're putting in an LGI furniture at the seventh grade LGI. And it's not, listen, eighth graders, we're not excluding you. We want your opinion as well. This is just a place to put um, a tryout thing. We're just staging. trying out and looking at, at things. They're staging stuff. Plus, I don't want to make the movers move stuff upstairs and move stuff downstairs when it's not going to be here. I think it's going to be here for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make another. And actually, he listen, if you look at what you put up as a, what you put up mm -hmm. as a, as um, suggestions, they're out there. Uh, someone put up like a grassy thing. They saw they had it 
at Will Lake. It's over there. Uh, we, they, you know, it's, uh, there's some cool stuff over there. So try, like, we'll have different schedules for advisory kids uh, to come down and try it out and then get feedback on a new LG, a new Google form that'll be up next week. So you can walk around and look at it. If teachers want to, you know, let you walk out there right now, we're in a very, very low number of kids. So you know, we'll be able to go through next week and try out uh, the, the LGI furniture. And also too, don't look at color, look at the, the style of the chair or of this, of the furniture and the comfort. Uh, mm -hmm. Color wise, we can get a million different colors. So we can actually do something different for the purple downstairs versus the blue upstairs versus the, I think the Navy that's going in at sixth grade. So we'll match colors. That's not, we're not going to get anything that goes, like, I don't like green. Well, that's okay. The chair is green. We, we can get it in a, like all these chairs and all this furniture and work is comes in a million different colors on the color wheel. So uh, we'll get something that matches, but also gives a pop of color. Mm -hmm. Everybody like, oh, our friend, all our desks are gray. Yes. But this is the LGI space where the pop of color happens. And then our wall, our walls have a pop of color and then different spots in there where you know where you're at. You can tell you're at seventh grade because you can see the maroon in different spots or the uh, yeah. light purple maroon. I don't know how, how do we, you know, it's a, it's in between color because the floor is a lighter, I would think more purple, but the walls had that like plum maroon look. Should have brought Mr. Reynolds in and talked to him about color. We <laughs> but Mr. Reynolds will explain it. You just go down to his room and ask him about what kind of purple that is. And so we'll get Mr. Reynolds down there and he can kind of tell us exactly what color it is. So it's a cool Friday to be here at Westlane. Um, a lot of stuff going on. Right. And again, we're getting ready for four days and we're going to have some um, discussions next week about four days and some of the things we're going to tighten up on uh, that we've let you do so far because we've not had a lot of kids in the building, but now we've got to go to some safety protocols and you'll notice on our, on our room, being safe, being responsible, be respectful is a couple changes just to make sure that you know. Um, but we'll talk about that next week and kind of what things we're expecting when we come back four days. Uh, that is coming up here on March the 16th, which means one week from the day, the third quarter is over for grades. Right. Wow. Now, again, we know that we want to make sure we're learning and then the grades will come, but some of us have, have been pushing back our learning or, or, or sitting there with some grades we don't like, but so reach out to your teachers, email, like, here's how you start an email. Hello, miss or mister. <laughs> I'm in your blank class. Uh, currently, I have a whatever grade. How might I raise my, what assignments can I redo or what can I do to help raise my grade? Because some of you are allowed to redo assignments. Yep. Uh, from previous ones. And now some of you are allowed to do assignments without penalty. Yep. So that might be like, if you like, what I would say though, if you, if I was your teacher and you emailed me and you were missing like 13 assignments or not handed in and you asked me how to raise your grade, I would point immediately to those 13 assignments. Yes. So really, if you're going to email, if you're going to email, please make sure you've done a majority of the assignments first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I have 20 missing assignments. Who might I raise my grade? Right. Well, do the 20 missing assignments. So, because we're taking them without penalty, a lot of teachers are. Talk to your teachers about that, and then uh, we'll go from there. Ask. Uh, you got to But some of you, I think some of you said, and don't, please don't wait till next Friday to do this. Oh, We're giving late. you a week, week's notice. Email your teachers. Be very kind in emails, too. Mm -hmm. I don't say, how can I get my grade up? Why do, you have my, why do I have this grade? No, look at my grade. What may I do to help raise my grade? Can you guide me? Thank like, you. especially like I think too, like if you know, again, if you haven't turned in assignments, turn in assignments. It's like the whole turn off your computer and back on if it's something's not working. Yeah. But then be very, you know, uh, just in fact, if you need to model anything, model what how the teachers communicate to you, and um, and I see them, and especially in advisory classes, like hey, hello, students or loves or folks or whatever. Mm -hmm. We are having this here today, sincerely, and then your teacher signs their name. Same thing. Dear, so, -and -so please hmm, go and do this. Okay? So please communicate if you're not happy right now with where you're at in their grade and you're in a grade in a class and work on helping improve that grade and showing your learning. 
Exactly. All right, having said that, let's go to announcements. Uh, All right, it is Real Friday, uh, March the 5th. So it, it, again, and also too, the weather's starting to get really nice. So enjoy outside weather. You know, I heard next week, we might actually hit 70. Oh my gosh, can't wait. We at 70s, it's going to be 70s music around here the whole day. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and I'm thinking we might want to get our our safety drills out of the way. Yes. Always smaller groups in the building, too, if it's nice out. So, yep, yep. All right. Don't forget, students, start your day at Canvas, uh, mstwt.instructure.com. Every day begins at Canvas. Parents, start your day at Parent Square, westlaneparents.com. Talk about anything that's not, uh, any, you know, any technology issue has the current schedule on there. Uh, for at least one more week, it'll have red and black days, and then those will be gone, but we'll still have the bell schedules. We're not, for those of you at home, virtual, we're not changing any bell schedules. Mm -hmm. None. So we're going to keep the same schedule through the remainder of the year uh, that we're doing. Uh, so just to make sure everybody, you know, stays on the same page. And then again, Westlane parents, please go to Parent Square as well for all the most recent up-to-date information Love it. all right zoom norm for west lane miss vincent talk to us about being responsible all right to be responsible on zoom make sure that you log in five minutes before class starts and that your device is charged use the restroom and eat snacks before class meets and ask questions when you do not understand all right and miss barbara talked about being responsible in the room Okay, kiddos, in the room, here's what we need. We need you to bring your device and charger every day. So, so, so important. Be sure your device is charged. Ask questions when you don't understand. Keep everything you will need with you and leave what you don't need in your backpack. And then keep your phones away. This is going to be a new one that we really are going to start pushing a little bit more. Phones need to be in our backpacks. All right, so that's how to be responsible on the room and on Zoom. And you'll notice, too, right here, we don't use restrooms during passing periods. That's always been kind of a, a thing we do. Uh, I think some people have done that because, well, again, we're trying to keep uh, social distancing and be able to tell where you're at most of the time. And then be on climb to class. This is affecting this. And there's no reason anyone should be tardy here at class. You have four minutes, and our building has now become more compact. And so there's really no reason to be late to anywhere so make sure you're on time to class. All right, technology issues. If you have any technology issues, please dial 317-254-5566 or fill out the form on westlaneparents.com. Eighth graders, you'll be selecting classes for North Central beginning this week and in the next week. Make sure you make your exact time slot. Uh, Mrs. Bostic has worked really hard on getting you time slots and to work with our North Central counselors and then those Zoom meetings. And one class you might decide to apply for is our choir class. And so watch out this quick video on North Central choirs. All right, I'll pause right there on the scan here. Let me click this off. So if you're if you're watching this online, you can scan that and learn more about North Central Choirs. All right. All right, so make sure you sign up for the choirs if you wish to for North Central. And talk to Ms. Martin if you have any questions about that. Nope, there we go. 
Sixth graders, are you interested in honor science and social studies for next year? Please make sure you fill out the application and get your te current teacher's recommendation. There can be any recommendation. Clearly, we would like for so your science and social studies teachers to sign off. But if you have a good relationship with your English teachers or your band teacher or your math teacher, you can certainly get their recommendation as well. We're not just limiting it to science and social studies. And also, too, um, if you want to be considered for English honors at any grade level and or science honors and social studies honors and you're currently not, please make sure to reach out to your teacher uh, that currently teaches that. And then we'll, they'll kind of walk you through how to do that. All right, don't forget, sixth graders, you also have an AVID recruitment class you need to accept. And if you want to be in our AVID program, our nationally renowned AVID program, our school-wide side of distinction, our showcase AVID program, then uh, go ahead and sign up for that as well. Um, you can apply on the Westlane AVID Recruitment 21 course, okay? Don't forget the next meeting for the Student Alliance for Equity, West Lane Safe, is on Monday, March 8th, this Monday, from 12.05 to one o'clock on Zoom. All club info can be found on the Safe Canvas course. Don't forget this Monday is a module Monday. Oh, we got some birthdays. Happy birthday. Here's a great cake you're getting. For, okay, first off, Marley Villanueva Cisneros, happy birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. On Saturday, March 6th, Meredith Araujo Zagal, happy birthday, yes. Meredith. Happy birthday. Jace Bell, happy birthday, Jace. Happy birthday, Jace. And Giselle Ortega Sanchez, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And then, I hope Best Buddies right now is watching this. I hope Miss Jones, here we go. The big Our girl, heart. Anaya Perkins. She's happy birthday, 13. Anaya. She's a teenager. Yeah. So uh, my birthday, goodness, and Ms. Richardson probably right now, she's probably giving her a hug. And yeah, it's just happy birthday, Anaya. Tomorrow, it's tomorrow, but you celebrate today like it's your birthday. That's right. Happy birthday. And then Sunday, March 7th, birthday is Alexandria Jeter. Happy birthday, Jeter. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. One of our, she's actually one of our award-winning dance uh, team members. Mm -hmm. And then Jeral Moore, happy birthday, Jeral. Birthday. All right, don't forget today uh, for our athletic. First of all, we will have pictures from our girls' victory in the Mick last night uh, over the team they played. Sorry about that. I don't remember the team, but I know they won because mm -hmm. Mr. Williams sent us a picture this morning that we didn't get put up yet. And also, I did talk to the coaches when they got back last night. I do want to remind you that the last call out meeting Preston. is today Preston. at five o'clock. Who do we play? Preston. Oh, that's right. We, we, we stomped Creston last yeah, night. Yeah, it was a big old stomp. So we'll have pictures up um, on Tuesday's announcements. So Friday, today, is boys and girls track. Mm -hmm. uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students interested in trying out for the track team. Please see Coach Brewer, Coach Doss, Coach Keith for details. Also, I've made Mr. Williams uh, is available. Mr. Uh, I, I, you just type in Justice Williams. Mm -hmm. um, on our West Lane Middle School Canvas page. He'll be available to answer any questions and he can also then send emails. If you send him an email about a particular sport, he can contact that coach uh, for you. So he's our athletic director for uh, most, yeah, for the winter, he was for winter and for spring and doing a fantastic job. Okay. So thank you, Mr. Williams mm -hmm. for that. It's an IXL dance party. you would uh next year when we're doing ixl because we're still doing ixl okay yep, sorry, um during our win time next year is uh you know maybe me assigning our uh lgi spaces out to different classes so they can do they can have the ixl dance party in the lgi Ooh. don't do that today because they're still setting things up and yep. plus uh we got visitors today from noon to one so yeah. i'll stay in your class, yeah. <laughs> class uh, dance parties please yeah so next you used to have an ant party. It's just not in the LGI. And then next year, <laughs> we'll, we'll schedule out the LGIs for everybody uh, here. And then sixth grade, you're moving in. Well, you know what? 
I'm not talking to the sixth graders because they won't be sixth graders next year. And they're, they're, they won't, like any future sixth graders aren't even watching this unless they watch it at home. Well, they might be. You never know. Oh, uh, well, you know, if our oh, reach, Lord, our reach, you know, when I meet with those kids on that week before spring break, when I meet with the fifth grade classes um, and seventh and eighth grade students, you know, I met with you before we came over. Like I might, you know, I'll, I might say, hey, if you want to get a feel for us, watch our announcement. And they may, and then, so we get a bunch of sixth grader or fifth grade families withdrawing. Uh, <laughs> I know it's positive announcement, but I bet once the word spreads, we'll have all kind of like, we'll have like a thousand fifth graders coming next year because oh, yeah. they love our announcements. I, totally. I'm here for that. I'm here for it. I get it. I'll tell you, our sixth graders watch them and they are definitely invested. They have strong opinions as well. They have very strong opinions. They are very strong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, and sixth grade and seventh grade students, I want you to be thinking of um, any great students could too. The uh, our, maybe a mission for us uh, for 21, 22 to to kind of be more in line with what you're feeling and what we're going to be doing. But right now, the current mission of Wesleyan Middle School is to develop lifelong learners and globally minded citizens by fostering the academic, creative, and social skills needed to achieve excellence in a multicultural environment. Every wildcat, every day gets better. And then also too, don't forget about pictures next week. Yep. And then we'll also start some course selection for our seventh and uh, seventh graders and sixth graders next week. I've got some videos for you to watch um, on your own, but uh, it's Friday. It's starting, at, the weather's starting to be nice. Oh, by the way too, I need to talk about a few things. If you are a car rider, mm -hmm. okay? Especially in the afternoon, I need you to come out and look for your car immediately. Cause we're sitting here with four or five cars sitting and there's not that many of you that are watching for cars. So you need to make sure that number one, we get people pulling up all the way because we've, we've had to adjust our construction zone and that makes people have to wait on 73rd Street. So really when you come out, look immediately for your car. Yeah. I think some of us want to just touch base a little bit with our other, with fellow peeps who are getting picked up. We have to be able to get into, um, get in and out of here. Uh, we love you, especially our Black Day students. We love you. And we'd love you to stay, but we, we had to make sure people are rotating in and out really yeah. quickly. It's not safe to have cars on 73rd Street. It's just- Yes, we don't want that. Even though we have traffic, we want them to be yeah. in and out really quickly. And we can't do that when we're waiting for you to find your car. You don't think your car's here, but look all the way up by the flagpole and back. We can get on any point that place. And then um, we need to make sure we're clearing out. So just be mindful of that for those of you car riders on uh, Black Days and when we come four days as well. Sure. So. Yeah. Right, anything else? No. I mean, have a safe weekend. Let's be nice, sunny. Enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy. Then it's going to start raining here before too long, and that mm -hmm. will be then it'll ruin weekends. Eventually, it's going to happen because it's spring. Spring. Yeah. But... And then it'll be nice and warm, and then we're in the summer. And then don't forget, email your teachers about the work. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and be and be very professional in tone too, please. Though. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,